Yo, what's going on everybody? A.A. Hey, hey, Ryan here. Raider Pete. Welcome back to Pan Nerdia and welcome to our Better Call Saul breakdown show. And uh, yeah, jumping right into Season 5, Episode 1, uh, titled Magic Man. Um, yeah, man, what a what a good episode. I think it was really, really nice. It was pretty much hit all the checks for a Better Call Saul episode. Yeah, the Magic uh, Man himself, yeah. Saul Goodman. So so called by uh, Mr. Hugh uh, Babineau there, and. Uh, but what else is what's what's his uh, what's Saul's name in Nebraska? Oh, Gene. Gene, uh, and then some. So, yeah, bizarre, some, yeah, like some Czech name or something. Some yeah, something yeah. That sounds Czech or something. Eastern European name, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, and of course, in Better Call Saul fashion, it starts off with a uh, um, introduction to. Uh, not introduction, but the uh, beginning of the episode starts off with the uh, black and white, as uh, the other seasons did, and I think actually season four, because it was split into two halves, mm-hmm. um, had two separate black and white scenes. So technically, there's already been five. This is the sixth one, and um, started with old Gene, as he uh, is still in Nebraska, getting back to his car after getting back from the hospital and seeing the. Uh, you know, like the um, taxi cab driver and all that. Well, it ends up uh, kind of going this whole stint when he like kind of freaks out and gets super paranoid, where he actually changes to Missouri plates. Yeah, of all places, we're from Missouri, so it's kind of funny. <clears throat> um, to uh, yeah, maybe think, think for a while, like, what are they going to bring it to Missouri? Now? I thought so for a minute too. So like, I mean, he, Nebraska's connected to our uh, northwest corner. Of our state. Yeah, it'd be pretty crazy if they if they ended up doing something like that. I guess it ended up being easy for him to get a plate like that. He also has a cop radio, too. He yeah, so he's like, I'm doing this on my own. So mm-hmm. that, I mean, and it makes sense. I mean, to be super safe and to be aware of, like, what's going on. just to, But still, when he gets approached, though... Oh, yeah, like, by, it ends up being by the taxi cab driver. Guy. If, you, if you didn't tell me that, you know, or he didn't announce mm-hmm. that at the end, I would have been like, this is not good. Like, he's a dead man. <laughs> yeah, because I was also telling Pete, the, the actor who plays him, I swear I've seen him in something before where he was like, he's played some, like, cop or some undercover cop or something. So I was already thinking, like, is, is this taxi driver, you, like, an undercover cop, actually, and they really know Saul's out here? Or, you know, the fact that he just recognized him and he got him to say it, you know, um... Better call Saul and pointed, but this is bad because now he's he's noticed. But he ends up calling the yeah, disappearer, right. um, Robert Forrester. There, um, I'm assuming really one of his last roles at this point. Um, yeah, it makes me wonder when they did the filming for this. They probably did versus the same time. El Camino was because yeah. they had him in the same. They had him down there. They probably you could tell down. he was bumming. He was sick. You know, right, in, in right. both El Camino and this. and this. Right, yeah. absolutely. Um, they even said in the episode special, or this episode goes out, to are dedicated to Robert Forrester. And he, yeah, Forrester himself said that it's his most proud thing he's ever been a part of, you know. Oh, yeah. It's just pretty cool. It reminds me, it's kind of reminiscent of who the, uh, our fellow that played Herschel on Walking Dead. Oh, right. You know, he, he had played such a great role in yeah. that in the past. Same goes for Robert Forrester, although Robert Forrester had short-lived... You know, appearance once or twice, right. but then when he made the movie, it made it. He's like, still in the continuity, really. Totally heavy. He is his role in the continuity is very precious. And obviously, this season he's going to be heavily involved. Or maybe not. Contacted. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not. the one contact maybe, he gets. It might have been it right there. That might have been just season that one episode. But we might see him again. Maybe, you know, somebody like uh, Nacho ends up contacting him. Maybe that's what happens to Nacho because um, we don't know what happens to him. He gets mentioned in Breaking Bad. Him and Lalo both. But all in all, um, Saul ends up calling him and saying, you know what, I, I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm going to go figure it out myself. So that's where we leave that. And we uh, come back to where Saul's getting his name, uh, or Jimmy's getting the name Saul Goodman now. Kim's a little apprehensive, of course. But um, uh, pretty interesting, though, because you're already seeing that dynamic of Jimmy and Kim kind of uh, pulling apart, you know. She's not really into this whole thing. She doesn't really get it. And as the episode goes on, it kind of she kind of keeps pecking away at it. But as the episode goes on, he's stepping in. I mean, real quick. I mean, they were in the tent, like mid episode. He's already has his tent that we've seen yeah. in the previous. Yeah, I mean, he already had nice. it all mapped out from his cell phone days as calling himself Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman then, yeah. Yeah, and so he had his clientele lined up. He just had to give him phones with a. That was the best. 
part of the episode for me, entertainment wise. Yeah, it was great. Is the number one with the sticker on there, and he was just like, just that one, just that one. And you cannot have a Better Call Saul episode without a good old montage, man. I was telling Pete, they're like the best in yeah. the industry at this shit, man. Really, with montages and like beautiful panning shots and time lapses, yeah. even. Yeah. They're always I mean, from Breaking Bad and Breaking Bad and good montages. Even when they were cooking, it montages of them cooking yeah. and Breaking Bad yeah. throughout. Yeah, they did that quite often. They did really good, and in Better Call Saul, they really carry that forward, and it, it was great. Um, but yeah, man, he, he's he's stepping into. He's already got the goofy suits and everything, man. The bright colored suits. He's he's really stepping up. Um, but we can't forget, of course, about the other characters too. Of course, it's Saul Goodman's world, but we have uh, Mr. Mike Irman, Trout, and Gus, um, and of course, uh, the new Salamanca into the series, Lalo. Um, again, he was also mentioned, along with Nacho and Breaking Bad. Uh, so something happens to him at some point, Lalo. Whether yeah. he gets killed and Saul doesn't figure out, Saul Hopefully thinks he's alive. So. That's my, as a fan, I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe Lalo getting... But remember, too, Saul hasn't been involved with Nacho in a long time, ever since the first season, but mm -hmm. Nacho's always had his card, and you can always get in contact with him, though he'll be by a different name next time Nacho sees him. Same with Mike, even. Mike will see him. And, again, even Mike, a um, little shadow on the back there. Too. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it, <laughs> little by little. Um, Mike, uh, even with Mike, Saul has, has seen him from season to season, but hasn't been really heavily involved since season one with him. Like last season, it was about he asked him if he could um, help him get that little figure, that Alpine Shepherd boy from the, the you know, the mm -hmm. dude's thing. Which you actually know the the burglar from that who stole that Alpine form, the guy who got trapped in the shop, you know, yeah. with the beard. Yeah, that's the guy who owns Los Vamanos Pest from Breaking Bad. Yeah, so because he always jumping, he's always jumping jobs and shit. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, so. We're already getting involved with uh, connection, stuff going on with Lalo. I know they do really good with that. Yeah. Uh, Lalo, he's sitting in, you know, in Salamanca, the business, seeing how things go. And, uh, of course, Nacho and uh, Crazy Eight are hiding something uh, that somebody is not only short of money or something, but something's up with uh, the, 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 the usual drugs that they're getting. Something's up, right? So they take him to see what's up. He's measuring out the different bags and seeing what's up there's some meth trap house he walks in like he owns a place and uh basically he was able to pick out just by looking at stuff that these other bags of drugs are not their product right so of course he does more snooping and more snooping and he finally ends up uh i guess getting a meeting with the other guy who's part of the um uh the card no, he's not part of the cartel i guess he works with don eladio he's the the guy with the uh, shaved head, um, uh, always wearing the suits. Uh, yeah, he's one, of the, he's one of the main dons. He's one of the, he's, I guess he's a don. You know, you see him in the Breaking Bad too. Um, he dies in Breaking Bad. How did he die in Breaking Bad again? I, I, I remember seeing him recently. I was watching a like murder montage. Oh yeah, and I think he was just like there was a door that opened and him and like oh yeah he died real got quick blown, a, blown, blown up, up right or yeah yeah murder shot real quick yeah. like yeah like gun blow, down like, gun gun down with like shotgun mm -hmm, or I something. do remember that. Um, so they have a meeting of course, and Gus kind of explains everything. And it ends up being this whole ruse that he kind of set up to cover up the fact that he's building this meth factory. So he says, he plays it off like, oh, you know, we had this German guy here building something special for us. Um, he found out about our other business and got away, and that's why we're tracking him down. You, that's how you knew about it, Werner Ziegler, and uh, blah, blah, blah. And basically, he set it all up, and it's like... Uh, <clears throat> It's so, you know, it's just so what this universe is, 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 man. It's just, at first I was even a little confused why, you know, he was going to go check out the drugs and, you know, how, you know, uh, he was asking all these questions and uh, and then how Gus kind of just pulled it all together and covered it up with his smooth way. The Lalo still is very yeah. keen on something else going he's, on. He, all he's going to do is he's just going to keep asking questions about every single thing. I think a lot of it has to do with Hector, too, though, right? Oh, of Probably. course, yeah. of course. But he's just doing he's doing it his way. He's like, you know what? Well, they're smarter. They're making more. They're bringing obviously, you know, Gus is bringing in way more. 
Yeah. Than the Salamanca side. Yeah. <clears throat> but the Salamanca side is tied blood wise more so, mm. you know, back in Mexico. So that's the give and take right there. I mean, should they even had the roots so deep to where he actually showed them what he was working on and uh, had the, even uh, the guys like Kai and the other German guys still up to over working uh, on stuff. So, uh, but he ended up sending them out another smart thing, basically sending them all out in different directions. Um, different airports, going different, getting different transfer flights, all ending up in different places in Germany. And giving them the exact amount of time, I guess, factoring maybe like piss and food stops. Yeah. Where they get to the airport, drop off the rental car, and, get and, go, on and go straight to the gate to leave and fly. Yeah, right. It's perfect. I mean, yeah. um, of course, Kai's got to say some stupid shit. Mike punches him, which is pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> because he had respect for the guy that he had to kill. Yeah, and course, then the next yeah. guy had even more respect than Mike, but as I said, you know, he was better than 50 of you. Yeah, that's had to hit Mike harder than anything Kai fucking had to say. That's why um, Mike just let that one go. He was like, yeah, well. Yeah, but he looked at that dude like, what are you going to do, dude? Yeah. <laughs> you know, which I thought was Typical cool. Mike uh, poker face. Yeah, that was a good one. A little bit more intense. Perfect Mike trout face. Like how uh, uh, Hank used to say, he's like, like dead fish eyes or whatever. Or even... Um, Saw him when I said that. But uh, speaking of uh, Hank, he, he will be, him and Gomez will both be in this season. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. But uh, as far as uh, characters, we definitely got, obviously, got Jonathan Banks this episode. We got uh, Ray Seahorn, Kim Wexler. Um, we didn't get uh, the guy who plays um, uh, Hamlin, uh, but, but we did, uh, Patrick Fabian. Uh, we didn't even get, we did get Nacho, a little bit of Michael Mando in this episode. Um, as Nacho, but um, yeah, man, we got some more characters. I mean, uh, what's his face? Uh, Hamlin. What's the dude's fucking first name? Howard. Howard. Uh, he's on the, the one of the main posters, so he's gonna be involved in the season again somehow. Um, whether it be he kind of starts figuring out stuff, I'm just curious, like how Saul's gonna kind of. Well, I guess it's not too obvious. It's, it's kind of obvious. I mean, Saul is a criminal lawyer now. He's gonna get involved back with Nacho somehow, yeah. or ended up helping out. Um, somebody or Lalo gets involved. That's what I'm thinking. You know, he hasn't met Lalo yet, and he's probably going to meet him this season through Nacho. And then, uh, oh yeah, Caldera, dude. I hope they have Caldera. Caldera is the vet, by the way. I hope he's in this season. Yeah, you'd um, think he is. That's cool, man. He's such a cool character, and his name is just Caldera. Good old Huel. He has some um, funny little one liners and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Jimmy and Kim, they're definitely like not really mixing well I mean even to the point where they're at home and kind of getting to the point where they're almost about to fight but they're not just because they're so indifferent about what they're doing she's being real honest with him how she doesn't really agree with him going his route but he says don't worry and that's where he's already like going up the chain and doing the whole um, you know tent and everything and uh, really doing work but uh, as far as the rest of this episode goes um, what do I have here well, I think that's kind of getting close to the end. I mean, yeah, I mean, we it, it, we we got to the climax with the black and white, and then the second half, I guess maybe, maybe it, the 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 main chunk of it was Kim not really believing in in him and trying to help him. Like, oh yeah, well here's a, here's another thing with the old Kim and that, the, that yeah, it came to a climax with. He pulled her into another one of those acting bits. Yeah, one of his bits. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah I almost forgot about that. Why? How could I? That's almost how the episode pretty much ends. Is, right. You know, Kim's still doing her like district work where she's like like on the side helping uh, people out. And, and on a side note, real quick, having those college students that helped him out in the past or whatever in, in Breaking oh, Bad, or whatever. Classic. That song, was. Dude. Great classic song. He's still right pointing there. those, yeah, those VA like visual, visual. And the audios. prosecutor dork that eats every meal out of the vending machine, yeah, the, like the potato chip coffee guy. <laughs> it was great using him yeah. for a little ad action. And then Saul comes in and look at the camera. He's like, "No, I'm representing." And he, you know, it was perfect, man. Oh god, handing this card out to like every type of person. He's such a yeah. little fucking clown, man. It's perfect. It's just <laughs> like he's just. More and more saw each episode, and it's probably gonna get pretty heavy. This episode. and of course, during it to the scenes where he's gonna be with the cartel and like stammering and trying to like you know oh, yeah. the Walt similar very reminiscent of the Walt Walt panic. You have the Saul panic 
but his is a little more like he can talk his way out of it where Walt kind of is just like, you know, is a little more panicky. They, but still, they both have their panics well and put. it's great. But Walt, like, his hands he's are He's more thinking. Like, oh. Yeah, he's like more thinking. He's like, ah. He's like grabbing his temple and his eyes and shit. Um, where Saul just talks his way out of it. He's, you know, which I'm sure we're going to have plenty of those. But Constantly he fixing his his cohort. Yeah, dude. I mean, he gets right into it with Kim though, and is trying to get her ruse back in, and she actually snaps on him. Like, I mean, she has some killer eyes, and basically is like, "No, man!" Like, she goes back off, and he's like, "All right, well, fuck, see you at home." And then we're thinking, okay, she's just gonna let this dude, this dude. Oh, and by the way, it's about this case where this dude either takes his five months. She got him done five months. He's got like a little family starting and everything, or he goes to trial and could possibly get a couple years. And uh, he doesn't want to take it. Well, that's the whole thing. Him and Jimmy, or her and Jimmy, were getting in a fight about. She comes back like she's not going to say anything about it and let him take the trial. But then she goes with the plan still. She, or she uses, you know, the whole thing because Pete pulling it out even it was real funny how they did it. Like Jimmy's over there pointing, and like they're far enough away where he's like pointing. Yeah, and, like, I was like, you know scene. what? That's enough. <laughs> yeah. Him doing that is like she, he already. I I'm pretty sure now that I had got a chance to sit down here and think about it. He had planted it anyway. Oh, yeah. Like, in other he, words, like, he, like I have no intentions to really go up to him and scare him and pretend to be DEA because I'm already doing it now, and I'm planting in your head because, you know, whether she's going to do it or not, that's going to be her. And she played, and I was right. As soon as she sat down, mm-hmm. no, as soon as she sat down, she, like, I knew she was going to go with, run with it. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah. I mean, that kid, five months versus years and years of his life. Yeah. Like, even two years or more, like, I don't know, five months, like... She just, you knew she hated it because... She hated it she, big time because she went in that stairwell and she's, like, banging her head on me. Though she, she loves doing that and she did do it. I guess she didn't want to do it for her own actions. She likes doing it to help Jimmy out of shit. Yeah, or for fun <clears> outside for fun. of the whole, like, thing, yeah. But to do it for her own thing, she, I don't think she really likes it. And then it's, like, plus, she even told herself, I'm pretty sure, last season that she wasn't going to do that anymore, like... We're going to get you and be a lawyer, even though the whole thing to get him to be a lawyer again was pretty much all setting up. Yeah, I'm wondering. Buying that special dinner and the yes. uh, the, the library thing that he spent like 22 grand on. Oh, yeah, all that worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> really But, well. like, what, what is this possibly, my question <clears throat> is, is this possibly, you know, the first step of many of phasing her character out? Because obviously oh, she sure. disappears out of his life and he disappears out of hers. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely going to, you know, I don't think she dies. Of course, I don't think it's gonna she be might that just bad. leave New Mexico finally once. I think she just and leaves. She's like, I can't be around yeah. you anymore, Jimmy. Like, if you're gonna make this big of a name yourself here, I don't want to be a part of it. I'm leaving. That's where my whole big thing I hope would be awesome one day is if the sixth season ends up being pretty much what's happening in the future and the black and white stuff. He does end up getting caught, and then she sees him on TV, and then and is like for one last reach out to being like, we used to be like best friends and lovers. I'm gonna represent him, and she, she she's like the best lawyer. And then she and then like the whole last season is like a trial to try to get him, you know, like exonerated or whatever. Yeah, perhaps I don't know. Because <clears throat> the way he disappeared in Breaking Bad, you know, you never saw what was going on with him leading up to him finally leaving. You saw what was happening with Walt leading up to him. Finally, being in the basement with Remember Saul there, they, in the that, vacuum basement. Yeah. The last season, they did have one opening scene where they showed what was, or at least one scene where he was like shredding stuff. It was before, it was as he was getting ready to go to Robert, Robert Forster's the vacuum place. Yeah, he was in there, and so was what's her name, his uh, the secretary, lady. secretary. Yeah. yeah, and they were shredding stuff. He's like shredding documents, shredding documents, right. and he ended up opening it up like a he like axed open like a secret safe behind wallpaper and shit, and yeah. got more stuff out. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be like this is what he's doing, freaking out before he goes to the um, to stay a couple of days at the vacuum store. Before it he... makes you wonder, like, how close to that moment of him clearing out the place and shredding does he say goodbye or know that Kim's gone or is Kim gone? Gone, you know what I mean? We're gonna find. Oh, that and out. the shredding and all that. Yeah. Oh, Kim's been. I think gone before Breaking Bad. Obviously. Oh, before any of that. Before okay. Breaking Bad, yeah. Oh. Kim's gone. Oh yeah, I think Kim's gone before Breaking Bad starts at all. Like. She's going to leave probably this season or next season. And then the whole thing I said about, like, her coming to, like, if it ever happens, her, like, getting Jimmy out of it, if he ends up getting caught up in Gene, I mean, up in Nebraska. Gene uh, with as mustache. Saw, 
and she ends up that would be like she's living somewhere else he's on TV and is like I'm gonna represent him kind of thing but no I think she yeah she's out of the picture she's not even in Albuquerque during the Breaking Bad stuff she's already gone I think this is her last season yes Could they're, be they're, they're just showing us so much of the cartel side of everything that I feel like that's building up and we know that we're gonna see Dean Norris you know Hank himself. Hank coming in yeah he's gonna come in with his Steve Gomez partner guy yep and they're gonna have. They're listed right now as guests, from what I see. Yeah, they'll, not they'll main be on main characters. So right, they'll be a, a few episodes. About the time they come in, I bet you she exits, or maybe not. Maybe they'll be in the next episode and have a little blurb. Yeah, I think they might. They'll, they'll be either in a one episode or a couple. Um, regardless, yeah, she's either leaving this season or definitely next season. Regardless, so, but it depends on how they lay it out. But I'm sure we're gonna love it regardless. Um, from what I've seen online, uh, people who've got to see the season ahead of time, they love it. They say it's the best Saw season yet, and that's saying a lot because they've all been really good. Um, but yeah, guys, I guess that's pretty much where it ended. I guess yeah. the only had one last scene or something was with uh, Mike telling uh, Gus to, because Gus was trying to keep him on the payroll even after that. Like we're gonna, I'm gonna need your help still after. He's like even after the whole Werner thing. And, uh, and Gus comes back with, well, he's gotten compensated, his wife's oh, compensated, yeah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and Mike didn't want to hear it. No, but so, either did Gus. He's like, you better choose your words wisely. Yeah, the next words out of your mouth, choose them wisely. And he chose to say, take your retainer or money, whatever you want to call it, to keep me around and do nothing. And shove it, basically. And he walks off, so it's like, oh, boy. Yeah. Either there's going to be a whole new thing of, like, res- re- respect that gets them back together, or it's just... Him blowing him off just for a short period of time. That's kind of how the relationship is. But yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Is it gonna be? Is Gus gonna really threaten him to scare Mike into yeah. doing something, or is it gonna be a respect thing? So I'm curious how yeah. that will play out. We'll see. Because uh, he didn't seem too scared of Breaking Bad, of him. But he definitely knows what he's capable of. That's for sure. Correct. But uh, regardless, guys, uh, we loved it. Uh, there'll be another review coming right at you in the next few days. It'll just be a solo one. But then by episode three, we'll be back on track with me and Pete. Uh, But be looking out for that. Um, And then, uh, well, right around the corner, we have Westworld Season 3 coming as well. Westworldia. So a lot of reviews coming out, guys. Yeah. That's probably like a gang symbol or something. (laughs) But uh, anyway, uh, you know what? It's great with the shadow because all it does is remind me of like the low production of like the little beginning of the saw. Yes. Better Call Saul stuff yeah. in his commercials. It's That's why the, I went with I this I can do background. this, but then it'll pop up down there. And if I do this, then it goes away there, but it pops up But even up like there. down here, like see the simple letters I picked and everything? Oh, yeah. Totally, I, I yeah. wanted to make it simple. Right. Right. So it's part well of the done. aesthetic, guys. Uh, but anyway, you guys have a good day, and uh, we'll catch you later uh, for another breakdown of Better Call Saul Season 5. Peace out. Peace.